hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how basically you can implement a oauth 2 login and logout system which is commonly known as identity services login system guys so basically this is a next generation uh, google login system that we will be implementing inside our react chase application so you will see that as you load your application it will basically prompt you uh, with their already signed in accounts here you have seen these uh, uh, login functionality in the modern application of google so you can see that i have already logged in with my three accounts here so google is automatically prompting me that uh, you can basically log in with these accounts here so with one tap you can see with one tap i can individually click on that and google will automatically verify this information and it will redirect me to the profile page so here guys we are showing the sign out sign out button we have the display name and the profile picture as i click that sign out button guys you will see i will be prompted back to the login page so i am successfully log out so once again i need to click this automatically the list of accounts will be shown to me so i can select my account and you can see that and guys uh, inside this you will see basically jwt token is returned to you so once i let let me just sign in once again so if you see guys basically whenever you select an account here this jwt token this is json web token is returned to you in the console json web token if you don't know guys json web token contains a lot of information that google will send you and this information that you see is we are basically decoding the json web token with a dependency called as jwt decode if you go to npmjs.com we are basically using a package in order to decode this uh, json web token so this package is called as jwt decode so we are basically using this package guys which automatically extracts all the information which google returns to us in the form of this jwt token so we are basically displaying this information which is a display name and the profile picture so we will be basically be implementing this functionality guys this google log login and logout system inside our react chase application this is commonly known as identity uh, services guys so if you just write identity login or two so basically this is the uh, google or two uh, identity login system so this is basically you can see that identity login system so let's start building this application guys basically you will get this screen out there automatically with one tap you will be automatically google will verify your account that's all so now guys what i will do is that i will stop my application here i will start a new project here so here i will basically create a new directory so let me close this and start from scratch so here guys i will have my directory and i will go to my d directory and i will create a new project guys so make directory and let me just create a, a new project here and for this dependency guys we uh, project we will use wheat Weed basically if you don't know guys it's a alternative to webpack it automatically loads up the development process for developing your any sort of application so we will just use this command and npm create wheat at the rate and then followed by your project name let's suppose oauth project so all the source code guys i have given in the description of the video so if you want the full source code you can go to the description of this video to get all the source code so now guys you will see it will ask me which project we are developing so i will select a react application and then javascript and now i will go into the directory guys or to project and then i will install all the dependencies which are there i think we named it or to project npmi so basically guys with the help of wheat it automatically speeds up the process if you use the conventional command called as npx create react tab this is very much slow but this wheat makes it very much easy it will increase the development you can see how fast is it is in order to develop a brand new react chase application and now we can run this application npm run dev this will start my development server at localhost 5173 so now if i start my localhost 573 you will see 
we just need to go to this local host 5173 this is the port number you can see our application has been started so the, now the very first thing guys we need to do is that we need to go to our index.html and here you need to basically after the title you need to add the script tag so this script tag guys this will be equal to https accounts.google.com accounts.google.com slash gsi gsi slash client that's all and we will be async differ you need to add these two attributes guys which is async and differ this will load this script automatically inside your head tag so you need, need to write this line guys if you don't write this this application will not work so simply write this and one other dependency guys we need to install guys uh, as i already told you which is npmi jwt dash decode this is basically used to decode the json web token which the google or 2 will return to us so we will need this dependency that's all and now we will need to go to app.jsx file guys so here we will basically delete all that stuff here we don't need this we will also delete this and uh, right here guys we will basically have a simple state where we will be storing the user so we will simply say user set user so we will use the use state hook guys which will automatically be imported from react and this will be an empty object so use state hook we are using and right here guys we will use the use effect hook if you don't know about use effect hook it automatically executes whenever your components loads for the very first time and inside the use effect hook guys basically uh, as we included the CDN inside our script tag you will see we included the CDN now we have access to all the library that we are doing this so right here we will write a simple line here which is google dot accounts dot id dot initialize so you need to write the same thing that I am writing right here guys so this expects an object which contains two properties client id and the scope so here sorry callback function sorry callback function and here guys client id which you need to go to google cloud console guys so you need to go to google cloud console guys and here you need to create a brand new auth client id simply select here web application and here inside authorize javascript origin guys you need to basically paste your uh, url so wherever you are developing this application so we will simply paste this url this is our local host 5173 so we will simply paste it here simply paste it guys and one other uh, local host we also need to type here http local host that's all so two urls you need to give inside your authorized javascript origins guys http local host 5173 with the port number and also http local host and in the authorized redirect URI guys we will simply paste the same URL which is HTTP localhost 5173 now click on create guys so now it will create your uh, OAuth2 client ID so this will be specific for your own project simply store it somewhere else click on ok and now we can simply paste this client ID guys so simply paste it and now the second one will be the callback function guys so whenever this request is completed this callback function will execute we can basically has handle callback response and now we can basically uh, make this function which will be handle callback function and here guys we will have the response so we can simply console log the response guys so right here guys uh, we have to have a basically a sign in button now to basically show the sign in button guys right here inside our uh, i think yeah after this outside this inside the use effect hook here only we will basically write a line google dot accounts dot id and basically it contains a method guys which is render button and in, inside this we will basically create an element inside our dom where uh, inside this we will basically create a div which will have the id which is sign in div so here basically we have provided this unique id to this guys div element so we will target this 
using document dot get element by id and we will provide the id which is sign in div like this so after this guys this takes an object here put a comma and this takes an object this contains two properties guys first is a theme property and theme we will give as outline and the size of the button so size of the button i will give at large so this will be a large button and lastly that's all so this basically will show a button guys on the screen if you now uh, reload your application basically if you reload your application now you will now see guys basically a button will be shown to me automatically it will detect me that already i am signed in with this email address you will see that automatically it has detected that i have already signed in so now basically check out the console here if i click this button right here guys a pop up window will appear which will contain all the accounts for me if i select this account you will basically see this information will be returned to me which is the client id client id and credential so credential guys this is the json web token that i am talking about so we need this uh, if i just say response dot credential this is basically the json web token guys which we are talking about if i again uh, click on that select it and now you can see that guys json web token is returned to us so json web token if you don't know about json web token guys it's a very special token used for authentication purposes if you just write json web token it has its own website you can play around it it's a open industry standard method for representing claims securely between two parties so it is used for authorization and authentication so basically it contains two information payload payload contains some data here you will see that it contains a header payload we need the payload which will automatically contain the profile picture and the display name now to decode this token guys we have installed this dependency which is jwt decode we will simply use that dependency so here we will simply say let user object we will extract this user object and for this we will use jwt underscore decode so for this guys we will basically import this dependency right here at the top which is jwt decode and we can import this from jwt decode and right here after this guys we will simply use this function jwt decode we will simply pass this response dot credential that's all so after this guys we will simply set the user here and we will set it to the user object that's all and now if you see guys basically we will have the response if i again inspect element and basically if i see now click on this so now guys if you see uh, nothing is shown here because we have already set this user here user object now we can display something on the screen so now we will have a simple curly brackets we will write some jsx we will simply say if the user exist in that case we need to display something on the screen so we can now display we can display here uh, let's suppose uh, in the h1 tag we can display username user dot name and we can display the image image source which is user dot picture that's all so we can close this image tag so now guys this is we have written a very simple jsx code right here we are comparing that if user exist that this is the user variable if user exist in that case display the username and the user profile picture if you now reload your application guys if you now press this button click on this button you will now see basically it will detect it will uh, show me the this is the name of the person which is this one and the profile picture you can see that now we also need to show basically guys a, a logout button for showing the logout button guys you will basically have a property here where we will simply show the logout button so for doing this we will again have a jsx expression here inside this inside the jsx expression guys we will use this method which is object dot keys object dot keys and inside this we will simply pass uh, 
uh, which is uh, let me see we need to pass here the user user object if the length is equal to is not equal to 0 in that case so if the user object it if it contains something then we already know that the user has logged in in that case guys we can display the button we can say button and sign out that's all so now when we click this button guys we will simply say handle logout so we need to make a function here which will be responsible for logout purpose R right here we will simply write this function so now if you see guys basically if you sign in so this so sign out button will also show here and now we need to hide this button guys which is sign in button so whenever we logged in so how what we can do is that here uh, whenever we do this process we can simply write a simple javascript code here which is document dot get element by id so we have provided an id to this button guys you will see sign in div we can simply write here sign in div and there is a hidden property here which is we can make it to true so now this button will not be show if you see right here click on that so now this button will not be show which is sign in so you can see it exactly sign out button is showing here and now to log out guys it's very simple when we click this button i need to log out from the system so what we can do is that inside our logout system we can simply clear out the state we can simply call the set user function pass an empty object after this we can uh, uh, just say enable sorry get element by id we can pass again this sign in div hidden property we can make it true false that's all so now this will unhide the sign in button that's all so you can see that now click on sign out we have successfully logged uh, log out so now if you reload this application guys i i need the auto automatically google should prompt me in the right hand side for doing that guides we need a simple one line of code right here right here just after you define these buttons here we can basically write these lines here just after this one line of code is there which is google accounts dot id dot prompt this is all that you need to write guys google dot accounts dot id dot prompt so now google will automatically prompt you with with you can see that in the right hand side automatically whenever you load the page google will automatically tell you that these are the accounts which you have previously logged in you can one tap you can automatically google will verify you and you can see that automatically logged logged in this is the latest uh, technology guys google authentication offers you basically it is called as identity login services with one tap google login or, or to google and log out and login system which we developed in react chase application all the source code guys is given in the description of this video you can check out and i will be seeing you in the next tutorial